So I'm going to spend the next two hours sitting in the back seat of my Ranger. This is the Raptor, but Ranger is a Ranger. Um, just to see how comfortable it is. I'm six foot three. I already did a review uh, quickly getting in and out. So I'm going to spend some time back here while my kids are at the farm riding their horse. I'm going to work on a uh, quick video and then I'm going to start writing my paper for school and just see. I mean, it's been 30 seconds. It's good so far. So the reason I was able to get this truck is because my wife bought a pony for my daughters and my daughter's bringing the pony over right now. Here comes Gretchen coming around that pretty badass looking forerunner right there. Hello, Miss Gretchen. Did you want a photo? Yes. One hour down, sitting in the back seat, working on my computer, no big deal. Uh, front seat is set where I would have been comfortable and I have plenty of room back here. Um, pretty good support. I mean, if I sit all the way up, my head's touching, but I've just been kind of, not slouching, but you've seen the time lapse how I'm sitting. I've just been working on my computer, so uh, we'll give it another hour, see how I feel after that. Kind of boring, but I've got other stuff I need to do, so not a bad idea to get some of that work done, start working on my paper, and uh, test the back seat. Only lasted about 20 more minutes back here until my kids were ready to go, but it was very comfortable. I could have done another hour easily. Not bad. I mean, I'm comfortable back here, just sitting here working on my computer. Um, my back doesn't hurt. There was a yard sale in our neighborhood, and these, I guess, didn't sell, so they were on the street with a free sign. My kids don't sit in car seats, but some of you are asking me about car seats in the back of a Ranger Raptor. So these are not the backward facing or the ones that like are strapped in that you um, use your own straps. These are more booster seats than anything, but they're about the same size. So three booster seats across fit. Uh, there's some slack in there so you can move them just enough to get the seat belts done. I don't think your kids would be able to do it. Uh, you'd probably have to get back there and do it for them, but there's definitely more room. I know in my Ford Focus when I had three across, when I closed the door, it squished them all together. This one has room when you close the door. So there's still a little bit of gap. So you could, even with the doors closed, you could move them just enough to get all the seat belts. And there's a little bit of a gap on that one too. So three car seats across in the back seat of a Ford Ranger Raptor. And now that I've got this, I'm going to go put them back on the street corner so someone else who actually has kids that still need car seats can have these. I finally programmed my garage door opener in my truck. Huh. It doesn't do the stoppy thing like a regular garage door opener would do. Look at that guys, my garage door opener in my truck works now, but I still have the other one because I, I couldn't figure out how to make the other button open the other one. It started giving me weird colors and flashing lights, so I'll have to figure that out later. But for now, at least the one I need to get into opens. It's over!